the 1175P control panel contains a variety of buttons and options which affect the functionality of the machine as it prints. The first two buttons on the right are the belt start and belt stop buttons. The belt start button commences motion of the blue and green belts. The belt stop button, when pushed, will stop the blue and green belts after a short delay. The belt speed knob changes the speed of the belt between three different settings. At belt speed 1, the belt will travel at 12 IPS. At belt speed 2, the belt will travel at 15 IPS. And at belt speed 3, the belt will travel at 18 IPS. There are different reasons to use each belt speed depending on the job being printed. This will be explained in greater detail further down the line. The feed knob dictates the behavior of the feeder during printing. On the auto setting, the feeder will turn on and off automatically based on whether or not the printer is actually printing a job right now. When it's turned to manual, the feeder will run indiscriminately until manual mode is turned off. The vacuum knob turns the vacuum on and off when the belt is running. If we turn the belt on, and it will get noisy, the vacuum can now be turned on as the belt is running. When the vacuum is running, envelopes will adhere to the belt with a greater force. This can be necessary if you're experiencing shifting of the print. The feed speed knob dictates the behavior and speed of the feeder while it is running. The further clockwise that the feed speed knob is turned, the faster the feeder will run. When the feed speed knob is turned fully counterclockwise, the feeder will not move. The final button on the control panel is the emergency stop. The emergency stop button will cease all feeding and all belt motion instantly. Once pressed, the belt will not start again until you loosen the stop button.